everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It is July 6, 2017, and I am so blown away by my last video. I don't feel like I spent enough time on the whole moon halo and more pictures to show you just how big and how the shadow was and how many countries it affected all over Europe. So, again, I just want to go back to this moon that we see here that increases in size and I will again show you as this moon passes in front of these shadowy objects we get a, a lunar halo a dark halo and then this appears right on a matter of 30 seconds so here you can see at midnight 1230 we had suddenly appeared a perfectly round shadowy planet and cast its shadow over the water when wow how fast is this thing traveling near the earth <laughs> we've never seen shadows this big and then suddenly what do we get to expect on the next lunar eclipse I'm waiting to find out so Again, we see this same eclipse uh, on Lake Starnberg, when I believe this to be Planet X. These are all southwest facing cameras, and it suddenly this object disappears. And when the moon goes basically in front of the position where the moon, this object was, we get a lunar halo Did you miss that one let's go back you can see it right here you can see the light shining from outside this and then again we see it on this another camera remember this is the moon and we can see the halo light shining here as they try to hide it with chemtrails. And we could see again the light halo right here and here showing the size of this planet. And yet another camera showing it here this is all near the same time frame. We see the light halo here. And this is quite spectacular. It looks almost like the daytime sun halos. Look at this light leaking from behind this. And again, another halo showing here during this lunar sunset being eclipsed. You uh, go back and watch my other videos about how this eclipse works with the moon simulator. It's an actual light source orbiting in our above our earth always in front of the moon and they could turn on this thing like a dimmer switch and again we have another one here with the light shining here yet a more fabulous one let's watch the time lapse on this a little bit we can watch the light coming from behind the the halo and this one here this is more spectacular one look at the light this almost looks like as large as the sun it wouldn't even you would think this was the sun we're looking at, but remember, this is at midnight. How is that even possible? But I want to show you a classic example of how this is the moon simulator. And it's, although the moon is far away, but the light source from the moon simulator is orbiting like a satellite so that it's always in front of the moon. Notice how it shrinks in size. As a matter of fact, in that to the size of a small pin. Look how they could just dim this thing right down. And they dim it up as it starts to pass in front of the solar eclipse. They start spraying chemtrails in front of it. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger until we have a full-blown halo. Wow. It's so bright. It, it seems as though this is not just the light of the sun, but the light of Nemesis also. Look at, we even have this. 
You can't call that a sun dog, can you? It's reflecting from the moon. Check this out. So like my video that I made, this uh, light source ceiling fan here could be the moon or the sun. And then the moon simulator or the sun simulator, like a flashlight orbiting in an orbit. So it's always in front of the moon or the sun. So that when an object blocks the light from the moon or eclipses our sun, the fake light will continue to shine. In this example, I show you how that this sun or moon simulator is fake simply by merely showing the diameter of the sun or the moon changes with the chemtrails. Low altitude chemtrails, a big sun or moon, and a high altitude, it appears small, all by the altitude. Now, if this was as far in the true light of the sun or the moon, it should re remain relatively the same diameter, no matter what the altitude of the chemtrails or the clouds. So, because the light is small and curvature, I call it like the flashlight effect. So questions about this, go back and watch my other videos of how that works. Of, it's to hide the eclipses. And go and watch the moon. And when next time you see this eclipse, focus in on it. You will not see any craters. You're just seeing a blinding ball of light. So please copy, share this video. Have a blessed day. See you at the Lord's Supper.